Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve, otherwise known as Pin, and today we're going to take a look at the absolutely superb Robert Space Industries Scorpius, a ship that has been well and truly sought after for quite a while, um, predominantly because of its shape. Um, it has a certain, um, let's say, borderline copy like copyright infringement with a certain movie franchise, but it is an absolute glorious ship this thing has been really well built really well designed by cig um they've really gone all out on this one the detail is actually very very good um released to gold standard it is a very cool looking ship i think we can all agree that not to mention it is of course packing a substantial amount of firepower it is a heavy fighter um now despite looking cool um, it does need some tweaking. It handles way too uh, agile for what CIG want. Um, so we will see how it plays out in the future in terms of balancing. Hence why the, the, we won't do any combat with it because I don't feel it's fair. If you're after this ship and you expect it to fly um, how it is now, you might be disappointed in the future when you come to purchase it and it's uh, not what you expected. But what we can do is take a good hard look at the detail that CIG have put together on this thing because it is an absolute weapon. As you can see, an automated turret controlled by a gunner in the back seat. It has 16 size 2 missiles. Um, so that's pretty much doubled from the brochure. Um, so that is almost... A ridiculous amount of firepower there's a lot of fun to be had I think with this ship in the future you're gonna see it everywhere I imagine my questions are though where does it leave the poor little um, hurricane in terms of competition um, I guess we'll find out okay so it is a two crew heavy fighter ship from Robert Space Industries um, I really really like the cockpit of this ship it is very clean very easy to navigate. There are no struts impending your view, which is kind of new for um, Robert Space Industries. We normally have struts of some sort, but we have none here, which is excellent. But it is a very clean, very functional, very polished interior for this ship. And I actually really enjoy sitting in the front and the back. Um, so very nicely designed. We got all everything we need at our fingertips. You know, I like the sort of stainless steel that encompass if it is stainless steel, they encompass the MFDs there. Um, it's a nice little touch. Uh, the buttons do have functions. It's a great place to sit. The visibility is pretty bloody good as well. In the rear, you'll also get um, access to a HOSAS system. This is for your gunner. He gets one large MFD, again, come encompassed with like a big stainless steel frame, which is really nice with numerous buttons at the bottom um, where he'll be able to operate ship systems and, of course, the turret. Um, so very nicely detailed in here and I was pleasantly surprised I was expecting not to have such a good view um, but it is actually very nice in here great place to sit all the lights on this ship are just extra touches the cockpit is well lit MFDs right in front of your face you know everything you need it's very comfortable and very great place to sit as you can see the pilot has a HOTAS system uh, so hands on throttle and stick as opposed to the gunners HOSAS at the back um, so there's a few differences there, but really not too much. Pilot does have access to all various um, onboard systems via the buttons. Um, you can see in and around the cockpit, but overall, this ship has really impressed me with my first, um, impressed me on my first impressions. I have to admit, it's a, a great little ship. Um, we'll see how the tweaks turn its fortune in the future, but even still, I think a lot of people are going to be very happy with what they've purchased if they've bought this ship because it is going to pack a punch ideally you are going to want to two-man crew this simply because CIG have said in the past you know um, they want to make multi-crew more effective than two solo ships for example hence why we've had recent patches um, where turrets have been buffed to a certain extent um, but overall a lot of fun to be had with this ship so as I said we're not going to talk too much about the combat ability of this ship yet. We're going to wait for the tweaks to come in and then we'll come back and revisit it um, to see how it performs because it is extremely agile at the moment, um, which you would expect, right? 
But I do have some uh, concerns with the ship, as uh, a few other people also do as well. Um, predominantly, yes, it's nice having... Uh, we got badges on the wings, the wingtips, um, which are size 2. There is going to be issues here during combat. Um, if you lose a wing or two, you're going to lose firepower. And also, you're going to lose quite a lot of stability, especially in atmosphere, um, when gravity dictates what you're doing with your ship. Um, so that is something to think about. Um, I think I would probably use this ship. I know it's a heavy fighter, but sort of similar to my Drake Buccaneer, right? Get in, hit it hard, hit your target hard, get the hell out. Because um, you really don't want to risk any of these wings getting damaged because it is going to cause tremendous problems when armor gets modeled and wings get blown off, you know, uh, all these things that we're going to rely on in the future may make this ship quite um, daunting and very risky to fly if you get too overconfident. That being said, I've already formulated plans on how I would like to use that turret and I think me personally, I would switch the size 2s for fixed um, Panthers, size 3 Panthers. Um, they're size 2 gimbaled on the wingtips at the moment. Um, and then I'd use that turret and just switch those guns out for distortion repeaters. And I don't think much, many or much ships would be able to take such punishment, if I'm honest. But that turret, four distortion repeaters would chew through so many shields... And then you have the wingtip weapons to just finish off what's left. I think that would be a deadly combo, in my humble opinion. So I am looking forward to try and test this when it gets into a place that's in a more sort of suitable combat area for itself. Um, the detailing, like I said, has been exquisite. Um, the gunner seat, look at the stitching. It's just brilliant. There is only one entry point for both you and the gunner, so that's something to consider. Both pilot and gunner do get ejection seats which is of course going to be extremely important and a nice touch to have if things go really badly you can eject and get the hell out of there um, but this ship is also dripping in numerous lights which I think give it a nice little sci-fi touch um, but I'm overall I'm very very impressed with this ship and uh, I think it's going to have a huge potential um, there's also some cool things with this ship we have access to all the components as gold standard, right? It does have a weapon rack that drops down underneath the uh, landing gear, which is an excellent touch for two um, weapons, one for your gunner, one for yourself. Um, the pilot in and out animation, getting in and out of the cockpit, I think is absolutely superb. But overall, the lines and just detail they've put into this ship is absolutely jaw-dropping, in my opinion. It is very good. And that's not anything to do with the X-Wing, okay? Forget about that. I don't care about that. Well, I care about what they've put in front of us, and I think it's an excellent, extremely well-modelled ship, and they've done it again, in my opinion. Um, my only concern is, I feel kind of feel bad for the Hurricane, because the Hurricane is a great ship as well, and we know, if you're being honest, that this ship, nine times out of ten, is going to get picked more than the Hurricane, simply for its looks. Um, which is a shame, in a way, uh, for the Hurricane. But we'll, we'll see how that all plays out. Um, Depending on how they tweak the performance of this ship, the Hurricane could trump this at some point in the future. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, so, as you can see, it's a tricycle landing gear, and the wings fold in and out during um, landing procedure and taking off, which is a nice touch. I like that they fold away to give yourself that extra room. Uh, if we were let, uh, trying to land on uh, another ship, for example, maybe a Kraken. We might be able to stockpile some of these next to each other with the way the wings fold and make the ship extremely narrow. Um, I wouldn't say it's too much wider than a Aurora. Um, I think it'd be pretty close. I haven't tried that. Maybe I should put them next to each other to see. But I can't see them being different in width when the uh, Scorpius has landed and retracted its wings. Um, so in the future stockpiling Scorpiuses on like a Kraken is going to be a very viable option. I wonder if it will fit in the Carrack. It will almost certainly fit in the Odyssey. So that is something that intrigues me. Could we get two in an Odyssey? Because we know that hangar is going to be bigger. Um, and even on ships like Polaris's, etc. So there's a lot of fun to be had in the future with this ship. 
Now, as I said earlier, there is a lot of components that we have access to on the outside, which is going to be crucial for when we need to repair these components in the future. Um, easy access, very easy to get to. Animation is brilliant. Everything works correctly. It's relatively well lit. We have two random lights at the nose of the ship there, which I think look really cool. Um, just a very impressive, extremely agile ship at the moment. Um, yeah. Really looking forward to seeing how this one unfolds. Let's now then begin our walk around of the Scorpius so we can get a sense of scale. Um, so heavy fighter, as you can see, um, the first thing that sort of strikes you is that sort of pincer nose on the front of the ship with the missiles, very prominent. Um, we have some maneuvering thrusters. We have a tricycle landing gear, you know, which is nice. They look fairly sturdy. Um, but it's just a very well detailed, very well built ship. Very impressed with it. As we move around the side then, we can see you can see the sort of mechanics of how the wings um, fold and unfold. And then moving towards the rear, we have some lights. And of course, we have our fixed wings, uh, fixed wing weapon emplacements here. And then we go under the wings... We have some thrusters, main engine thrusters. Just looks really, really, this ship just looks awesome. It really does. And then we move towards the rear, in between the two engine thrusters. We have access to all of our components. Now, as I said, this is going to be important in the future to swap these out. Maintenance, damage repair, all that good stuff. And everything just works brilliantly. We can open everything. Absolutely everything here. Plenty of room to get in and out. I can't see there being any problems in the future when we're trying to repair this ship. Even when everything's open, nothing sort of trips over each other. It's all very smooth, easy to get to. We have the coolers there. They just drop down fuel nozzles there's the other cooler so the way everything's been placed is just brilliant we have a storage bin here as well oh nope sorry that's the uh, another component we have the storage bin is here that's again brilliantly placed for hopping in and out you can go straight to your storage bin grab whatever you need no faffing about. Really well thought out ship this is. The components drop out brilliantly. There's no issues with them. You've got plenty of room to manoeuvre to grab those components. And then we do have some more around here. Um, oh, I've got to press the button again. And that drops down the gun rack. Look at that. That is absolutely brilliant. Very impressed with that. That's going to be really useful. Bounty hunting. If there's some on planet side, you can. I'm assuming that you would have someone with you. Why wouldn't you? Ideally, I would like a, a co-pilot in there with me or a gunner. But that weapon rack drops down. Drops down. You can jump out the cockpit quickly. Arm up. There might be a problem with that with people trying to steal weapons if you're not careful. But I can't really see in it see it being too much of a issue if I'm honest. But what a fantastic ship! Very, very much. Um, impressed with this this is a whole new level of detail they've gone to and when they bring the rest of the ships up to gold standard this is the sort of thing we can expect because this is just a great ship to be in a great ship to be around you know very impressive and i think it's going to be a very popular ship so expect to fight this a lot um Expect to bump into this a lot and especially when we get blades into the game and we can have the turret automated Yeah, this thing is almost certainly gonna pack a punch now. We know that the blades aren't gonna be um, Anywhere near as competent as a human and it shouldn't be um, they do want to encourage the multi crew and rightly so I think it adds to the immersion when you have a little bit of coordination between you and your friends or your org for example and we have another drop-down component there that I nearly missed so, excellent, excellent. We have 
eight missiles on the underside of the ship and then of course we have another eight on top all facing forward and that beastly beastly turret at the top which does maneuver into different positions uh, you can have it facing the rear of the ship towards the ground which is pretty cool so then let's hop into the pilot seat and got some maneuver thrusters there on the nose so we'll jump in the pilot seat so we can have a look of what you can expect in this wonderful wonderful machine cockpit slides back over and as you can see like I said very clean in here HOTAS system nice buttons that are easy to read they're actually labeled as well which is pretty handy um, visibility is excellent no struts whatsoever and of course the HOTAS but yeah this is great 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 cockpit I just love the sort of titanium look they've got around the MFD so here we have the various buttons quantum drive we have the ejection handle down here which is exactly where you would want it and then we have exit ship on the left and some more buttons and functions we can press here so it is pretty bloody awesome let's get out now and what we'll do is quickly jump into the um, gunner seat so you can get a feel for what the gunner will be up to and oh let's take a look around the gunner seat Now, as you can see, we get one MFD. Uh, the gunner can access ship systems as well to give the pilot a break if he's fighting or trying to outmaneuver someone. Um, and we do enter the remote turret via this console. And using the HOSAS system, I guess that's how we um, engage targets. As you can see, that animation, awesome could be useful if we get this ship in an orbit to have that turret facing the bottom to suppress enemies along with maybe a Valkyrie or something so there is potential for ground attack here in this ship we'll see how that plays out okay so here we are in orbit above area 18 and this is the turret in the lower most position um, underneath the ship and we have fairly decent coverage towards the rear of the vessel which is nice I wasn't expecting to have so much um, azimuth with the uh, with the turret down here. It's actually really impressive. And as I said, I think a few of these ships could cause a lot of problems in a ground attack role. Um, absolutely. We'll see how that plays out in the future. But almost certainly something I would like to try. Um, so we can retract the turret from the gunner seat. There are options there. It is uh, you press S. Uh, S for Sierra. Uh, as well and it will automatically do that without you having to press any of the buttons on the MFD but as you can see we have the power triangle there and the capacitors and the rounds coming out of these uh, Panthers last forever um, we've got the capacitors on standard 33 33 33 um, so this ship is almost certainly going to be devastating when multi crewed that is for absolute certain. Look how long we can put down rounds on target. That is a very, very long time. So, very impressive turret. And as I said, pressing S will switch the turret in and out into its various positions on the fly. And that is a very quick um, swap of positions as well. So that's going to be pretty effective in the future. Not only for ground targets, but of course if there's a enemy ship below you, or vice versa, depending on where you are, um, being able to swap that into a more potent position to continue putting rounds down range is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, he does get access to ship systems, which is great. As I've said before, that really helps out the pilot if he's busy doing stuff. And of course, 
we can get out and he does have the ejection seat between his legs like the pilot does as well um, so let's hop back into the front of this thing and it's the little details of like just the subtle lights if you look at the missile launching pods tubes um, even they're well lit superb ship really impressed with this okay let's now uh, discuss some of the components that you will get stock um, with the RSI Scorpius we know there is almost certainly going to be a lot of fine tuning um, that you're going to be able to do with this particular ship just for the pure amount of weapons that it carries okay here we are at Elroy's and we're going to go to our vehicle loadout manager like this and we'll begin talking about the components that come stock I haven't changed anything at all okay so we get two coolers size one grade two uh, military and they are the polars polars sorry I don't know why I said that polars polars so we get two size one coolers which is uh, it's okay um, I don't think I would change these yet I would have to determine what weaponry I'm gonna put on there power plant we get the regulus which is a size 1 grade 3 military class and that's from Aegis Dynamics the quantum drive is a EOS size 1 grade 3 civilian and that is from RSI I'd probably swap that for an Atlas, Atlas again I tend to do that for my fighters just to give me the range and the shield generator is size 2 grade 3 military and that is from Gorgon Defender Industries um, I would probably swap out the shield it's going to be important you don't want to lose wings and all weapons you lose a wing you lose a weapon um, then we have the 16 missiles which of course size 2 16 of them and they are the Tempest 2 missiles so they're pretty pretty brutal in themselves and to have 16 of them is well, yeah, certainly something you want to watch out for, in my opinion. Then we have the Badger Repeaters, which are located on the wingtips of this ship. I would almost certainly switch these to fixed weapons. Um, the turret can move. If you've got a gunner, you know, the turret's still going to be tracking the target. And you, having as a pilot, having the extra firepower is certainly going to bring enemy ships to their knees much more quickly. And effectively especially if you're multi crewing um, I'd probably put the Panthers on there now for the turret we get the Panthers as I said I think I would put distortion repeaters on here and have that turret pummel enemy shields and components and then you can just swoop in with your fixed size fours uh, size three sorry um, Panthers or maybe your Gatling guns of choice whatever it is and just absolutely shred that ship a bit so that is something I will almost certainly try in the future so there we go guys that was the components for this ship it is an absolutely amazing ship um, what do you think of the Scorpius guys do you own one do you want one are you gonna pick one up how are you gonna tune it are you gonna multi crew it I think um, it is almost certainly a ship that I would like to multi crew do you prefer the hurricane so there we go guys, that was my video on the great and epic Robert Space Industries Scorpius. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what buttons to press. Um, please feel free to join my Discord, link in description. Let me know your thoughts on this sh uh, ship guys. I am interested to uh, have your take on it. Um, I think it's going to be superb. We'll see how it performs in the future with the balancing tweaks. Um, but thank you very much for watching and I will have more Star Citizen content en route to your location very soon. Cheers.